guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. I hope you are doing well and are ready for a new yoga class today. I mean, it's new every single time we're together, but uh, you know. Um, today's class will be a low and slow class that's just perfect for beginners. Um, I had a really big day yesterday of running and walking and paddle boarding and I'm sore. So I wanted to make sure that I could support my body, but also give you guys something that if you are physically sore, like I am, look at these two, already you guys. All right. <laughs> okay, you two get out of here, enough. Anyways, I wanted to make sure you guys have a class that can also support your physical needs if you are uh, well, very active like I was yesterday. Could have even been, <laughs> you guys, they're going crazy already this morning. You two gonna make it? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. And again, if you're just joining, this will be, um, I'm thinking maybe 30, 35 minutes, a low and slow, just kind of really stretch it all out, help you guys with any physical ailments that you might have going on if you're overactive like I have been, or just, you know, pushing yourself a little harder than you're used to. So with that, Make your way down to the floor. I assume you already have your mat here because you showed up. <laughs> Go ahead and get your water and let's jump into this. And hopefully these guys will not be as sane as last class. Whew. Take a drink of that water, you guys. All right, so make your way down to that mat. Get yourself nice and comfortable, hands in your lap. Start your watches if that's the thing you like to do. I'll try to keep track of that 35 minute time frame, but uh, we'll just move, we'll flow, we'll do what feels right, okay? <laughs> All right, so make sure you guys are sitting up nice and tall, really comfortable here. And if you have a pillow or anything that you wanna sit on, feel free, add that in. Like I want you guys to just be relaxed today. So go ahead and make sure tall through the spine, go ahead and close your eyes, bring your hands into your lap in whatever way is comfortable for you. And just let's start focusing on that breath, inhaling in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale, exhale, one more just like that, in and out. And just let it come in and out through your nose in a nice normal rhythm here. And just begin to notice what's going on in your body or notice where you might even be holding in that tension right now. And just try to allow yourself to relax, releasing those shoulders down away from your ears, giving your legs a little shake to help them relax into the mat or even extending them out if that feels a little more comfortable to you. Find what's comfortable always. And just focus on that breath, helping it bring you right into this present moment. I want you to really just begin to notice how that breath makes you feel as it enters into the body. Notice if you have short, really stifled breaths that are coming mostly from your chest, or if you're really bringing in a nice, slow, deep, long breath that goes all the way to the base of your lungs. When we begin to actively use our entire diaphragm, we're affecting over a hundred different joints. Right, so the more we can really focus on how we breathe properly, the more benefit you're gonna have in your body, in your mind, and just you're gonna feel amazing overall. So with that next inhale, I want you to count to four on the inhale and count to four on the exhale, nice and long and slow. Inhale, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, 
four. We'll do that two more times on your own. Great job. Go ahead and open up your eyes. And again, bring that big smile onto your lips. Take a big inhale, lift your arms all the way up to the sky, look up. Really extend through your fingers here. Feel your shoulders coming up and looping around your back. And as you exhale, float your hands all the way down to the mat or right onto your pets. Inhale, look up, lifting. Exhale, float them down. Tuck that chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale, lower, tuck your chin. Great, one more. Inhale, all the way up. Interlace your fingers at the top. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. Get a big stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Give a lean over to that right side. Turn your chest just slightly so you're trying to angle it towards the sky just a little bit more. Inhale up. Exhale. Lean to the left. Twist that chest towards the sky. Focus on your breath. Really feel that lengthening through your arms here. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release your hands, bring them down to your side. And someone brought me a mouse. Oh, I don't know how to throw. <laughs> all right, we're gonna come on to all fours. And I have a feeling these two are gonna be wild again today. So then again, move your butt. Move your butt on my face. <laughs> bring those knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists right under your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide as you plant them onto your mat. You can play around with curling your toes under or leaving them flat onto the ground. Take a big inhale, look forward. Exhale, let it go. One more big inhale as we just hold it here. Exhale. All right, we're gonna do a really funny and awkward breath called the lion's breath. And so all we're gonna do it's a good thing I'm facing forward because it looks crazy, you guys. You're going to take a big inhale. And with your exhale, you're going to really push your tongue out like this. Uh, and you're going to send your eyes up towards the center. So you're literally going to go in, exhale. It looks crazy, but it's so amazing because it's going to work all of the stuff in our neck and in our jaw. So inhale, exhale, lion's breath, let it go. Inhale, exhale, one more, in and out, great job, I bet you feel like a lion now, <laughs> take a big inhale, look forward, drop your belly, lift your hips to the sky, and as we exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your upper back towards the ceiling here, tuck your tailbone under, inhale, lengthen, drop that belly, Exhale, round as we move through our cat cows. Inhale, exhale. We'll do three more with your own breath. Apparently that lion's breath uh, called in the miniature lion here. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys, thanks for enduring my uh, really terrible middle school teacher jokes. All right, I think I lost count, so come back into our tabletop position. Take a big inhale, nice flat back here. And as you exhale, I want you to extend your right fingertips forward. Inhaling in, exhale, extend your left toes back. Find your balance. You can always curl that right toe under. Just make sure you have that founding support or grounding support. Focus on your breath. Press away from that left hand here. Inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled, arch your back, connect elbow to knee right into the center line. Inhale, slow and controlled, lengthen it out. Don't dip in that low back though, keep your back nice and neutral. Inhale, exhale, connect. Inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. Great, plant that knee, plant that palm, and we'll go on to the opposite side. Inhale, extend your left hand forward this time. Curl your left toes under if you'd like, and then slow and controlled. Lift that right leg, point your toes. 
press away from the floor with that right hand. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, slow and controlled, connect in that center line. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. In. Out. Two more. Last one. Great. Plant that hand and your knee. And go ahead and open your knees as wide as your mat. I want you to bring your big toes in to touch. You're going to plant that right palm underneath of your nose. Take a big inhale. Glide your left arm all the way up to the sky. Get a big stretch here. Really tuck that tailbone under. If you any, have any issues in your shoulder, just bring your hand to your hip and continue to try to turn your chest towards the sky here. Shoulder blade goes towards that back wall. Pull your belly button in. Use your core and focus on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. If it's too straining on your neck to look up, you can look out to the side or you can even look to the ground. Just find what's comfortable for you always here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to release that left hand down. Plant it under your nose. Inhale. Open that right arm all the way up. Tuck your tailbone under here. Focus on your breath. If your arm is lifted, angle your thumb towards that wall behind you so we're not causing any compression at that shoulder joint. Inhaling in. And as you exhale, release that arm down. Great job. You can bring your knees back into that traditional tabletop position. And then we're going to go ahead and walk our elbows down to where our palms were just at. Walk your knees back several inches and begin to lift your tailbone, dropping your chest towards the floor. You can bring your forehead down to the mat and you may need to space your arms a little wider so you don't have any of that tension right at your shoulder. And if it's uncomfortable, simply go all the way back into our child's pose. Find what's comfortable for you here and just focus on that breath. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In, out, inhale, look forward, shift your weight, bring your belly down to the mat. I want you to extend your arms out in front of you and bring your hands parallel to one another so your thumbs are lifted towards the sky. Just release your forehead all the way down. Inhale, I want you to lift that right arm away from the ground. Hold it there for two, one, release. Inhale, left arm. Two, one, release. Inhale, both arms. Lift them up. Hold them there. Exhale, let them go. We're going to do that a few more times. First with the right hand, then the left, then both. So inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, both. Exhale. Keep it going. In. Out. In. Out, inhale both, out. One more round, in, out, in, out, both. Exhale, release, great job. You can release your palms down. Inhale, look forward, and exhale. I want you to just draw your arms out to the side. You're like your giant letter T. Bring that right cheek down to the floor. You're going to plant the left palm in front of your nose, lift that elbow to the sky. Inhale, lift your left toes all the way up. Exhale, drop them back behind you. If you can't touch the ground, it's completely okay. You can always just stack your legs if that's more comfortable. Keep that palm behind you flat onto the ground and listen to your body. If it hurts in any way, you just roll forward a little bit, taking the pressure out. You should be getting a nice stretch through your pecs here. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. In. And out. One more. In. And with your exhale, slow and controlled, roll onto your belly. Use the ground as a foam roller for that right leg, though. And then go ahead and extend the left arm out. Bring your left cheek down to the floor, plant that right palm, lift that elbow, inhale, lift your leg all the way up, 
exhale, drop that right leg behind you. Focus on your breath here. Inhaling in, exhale. Keep that palm firm on the ground behind you. And just breathe. Big deep breaths, using those equal four counts in, four counts out, just like we practiced at the beginning. Inhale, and with your exhale, we're gonna slow and control, roll back to center. Great job. Bring your hands right underneath of your shoulders. Curl your toes under. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, come all the way back up into our tabletop position. Curl your toes under. Inhale. Exhale. Send your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Really turn your biceps towards the ceiling here and press into the knuckle of your index finger so you can lock your arms in place. If you're not turning your biceps, we're definitely, and you have those elbows just winging out, you're gonna cause compression at the shoulder and it's not gonna feel good later. So really focus on your arms and then in time, you'll be able to lengthen your legs or press your chest closer to your thighs. It all comes with practice. I'd rather you have the pose down and make sure posturally you're not causing any damage than to jump into something, you know, for a photo. Right? Let's do what's good for our body. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Bring both of your feet together and just allow your upper body to drape over that low body. Get a nice big bend in your knees. Tuck your chin into your chest. And just hang here for a couple seconds. Big inhale. Really feel the back side of your body expanding. Inhale, exhale, inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten your legs, straighten that upper body, coming into our halfway lift. Take a breath, and with your exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna stand all the way up and draw a big circle with our arms at the same time. Arms up and overhead, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, bring your hands right to your heart. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. Great job, inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms, step one foot back and then the other. Shifting into plank, bringing your shoulders right over your wrists or dropping down onto your knees, finding what's comfortable for you. Focus on that breath. Take a big inhale. Exhale, angle your fingers towards the edge of your mat. And with that next exhale, slow and controlled. Release yourself down, keeping your elbows in at your side. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands. Lift your upper body away from the floor into our upward dog. Really focus on engaging your glutes. Make sure your low back is nice and stable. Looping those shoulders down away from your ears and really pressing through your arms here. Focus on your breath, inhale. And as we exhale, send your hips towards your heels, coming into our child's pose. You can keep your knees into center or you can open them up as wide as your mat, bringing your toes into touch and then releasing that way. Bring that forehead all the way to the ground. Close your eyes. Let's take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, in. Out. Great, just let that breath come in and out through the nose. I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips and think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And with 
your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our tabletop position. Bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, wrists right under your shoulders, fixing your clothes if you need to, because somehow they get away from us. <laughs> Take a big inhale in, exhale, curl your toes, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Again, really work on positioning your arms, turning your elbow creases, your biceps towards the ceiling, pressing into that index finger knuckle. Pull your chest closer to your thighs. Inhale, exhale, inhale. I want you to bend your knees, look forward, and only step your right foot forward. Really lift that knee into your chest, and then try to plant it in between your hands. I never can, so it's okay if you can't. <laughs> Take a big inhale and look forward, lift your chest. Exhale, release that back leg down, uncurl your toes. Just focus on that breath for a moment. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and plant that left palm down, open that right arm up to the sky. I want you to also try to pull that right knee into your center line. Send your weight forward, take the pressure out of that back knee. You can always drop that top arm down, roll your chest and your shoulder blade towards that back wall. Inhale, exhale. Now you can stay right here or to go a little deeper, you can lift that back leg, reach your arm back, try to connect if you can't, it's okay, or try to grab the outside edge of that foot. Press the foot into your hand, really make sure we're spiraling that shoulder open, chest to the sky. You don't wanna cause any extra tension here, any compression, but you do wanna be able to open up through your chest and get a nice big deep stretch there. Inhale, exhale, one more breath here in, Exhale, slow and controlled, release that hold, bring that back leg down, bring your arm forward, and then we're gonna shift our hips to our heel. Curl those front toes under. You can always keep them flat down. Find what's comfortable for you here. Tuck your chin into your chest and really feel the stretch going from the base of your head, looping all the way down to the base of your foot. Inhale, exhale. One more, in and out. With that next inhale, I want you to come onto your fingertips, lengthen your chest, and we're gonna tuck that chin in with the exhale, really lift in that upper back. Inhale, lengthen, straighten through your back, look forward. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale. Exhale, one more, in and out. Great job. With your next inhale, roll through that front foot, curl your back toes under, lift that knee away from the floor, and step your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, palms together right at your heart. Take a breath. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way back up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other, and we'll shift into our plank and move through our vinyasa. And again, sending it back into your child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. You can bring your hands closer to your head or even crisscross them on top of one another and let your forehead rest on your hands. Find what's comfortable for you as you just take this pose to just catch your breath, reground yourself. Take a big inhale in and out. And bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, 
Go ahead and flange your hands down. Make your way all the way up to your tabletop position. Inhale, exhale, curl those toes under. Send your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Stay here for two breaths. In, out, inhale, and exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, lift that left leg this time. Really lift it all the way up and try to step it up in between your hands, if you can. <laughs> Take a big inhale in, look forward, lengthen through your chest. Exhale, drop that back leg down, uncurl your toes, plant your right palm on the floor. Inhale, open that left arm all the way up, pulling that front knee into the center line. Shift your body weight forward, take the pressure out of that back leg. Take a big inhale and exhale. Focus on your breath here. And again, you can stay right here, or if you'd like to go a little deeper, lift that back leg slow and controlled. Reach back and try to grab. Really open that shoulder up to the sky. Notice how I'm rolling it around my body. Shoulder blade is coming in towards my spine, and I'm actively pulling my front left knee into the center. It's a lot of stuff to do. Focus on that inhale and exhale. One more. Great, slow and controlled, release that back leg, bring your left arm forward and send your hips to your heel. Flex through that front foot, tuck your chin into your chest. Focus on your breath here. And exhale. Come on to your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Pull your upper back towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. One more. Great. Inhale, roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step that foot up to meet your front foot. Forward fold. Tuck your chin into your chest. Allow your body to release here. You can play around with straightening the legs if you would like. No straining. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step it back, and move through your vinyasa. And meet me back in child's pose. And this time, maybe you want to just bring your hands all the way back by your shoulders. Really feel the weight of your shoulders rounding forward, allowing yourself to release here. You feel that pressure in through your forehead. You can give your head a slight rock, left and right. Really just massaging that forehead. And then bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. your next inhale. Use your hands to press your upper body away from the floor. Pull your knees into center and just release your hips back to your heels. Fix your clothes if you need to. Get yourself comfortable. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in. 
one more just like that in and out. Inhale, shift your weight forward, curl your toes under, send your weight back into your heels. Now I know this is not everyone's favorite pose because you might feel that pressure through your feet, but you can always lift your hips up and out. But I can say, since I have incorporated this one into way more of my sessions, yesterday on the paddle board, I was able to drop down on my board and come onto my feet, both in this position and taps my feet flat. My ankles didn't hurt, my knees didn't hurt, my feet didn't hurt, it was awesome. So the more you do it, the more your body is going to adapt and it's gonna feel better, right? So it's not like I'm trying to torture you. I promise it's all for your benefit and mine. So take a big inhale and as the exhale, send your weight forward, legs to one side and bring your bottom all the way down to the floor. Extend your legs out in front. Flex those toes in towards your nose. You can move the flesh from your bottom out to the side so we can really bring our sit bones down, sitting up nice and tall. Plant your palms right next to you on the floor. Take a big inhale. See if you can lengthen even more in your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift those arms all the way up. Exhale. Fold over your legs. Tuck your chin into your chest. And just catch whatever is comfortable to you. No straining. And with that next inhale, come all the way back up, tall and centered, arms open in front of you. And with your exhale, slow and controlled, release yourself all the way down to the mat. I'm going to spin so my head doesn't end up by Finn's butt. <laughs> Slow and controlled, all the way down. Extend those arms overhead, point your toes, get a big stretch. And as you exhale, just release your arms down to your side. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. Close your eyes and just focus on that breath as we move into our final resting pose, Savasana. This is our time to be still, be present, and just breathe. that next inhale. Roll onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands right into your lap. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in. And out. Palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. 
exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale, exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale in. And as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. It is always a pleasure to be here in this space with you guys. And it is just so appreciative. I, you know what I'm trying to say. My brain's not functioning for words. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for committing to this practice with me. Um, be sure to check out all of the updates in the announcements in the group. And I look forward to seeing you guys either in person or in another live stream real soon in the future. So stay happy. Stay healthy, be an awesome human, and have a really good freaking day.